Hello people, welcome back. So this week we are going to be talking about something that I think is very important for everyone to know. So I'm going to be comparing two investment options, right? I got this question, I think it was sometime last week, and I thought, you know what, let me do a video on it so that I can really break it down, right? So let's go. Mutual funds, treasury bills. Now I've done a series before on mutual funds and I have done one on treasury bills as well, right? So if you want to learn more about mutual funds or treasury bills, you can check out my video on my channel about them. But today I want to talk about them in terms of comparing them and also letting you know how you should make your decision. So someone sent me a question and said, what should I invest in? Should I invest in mutual funds or should I invest in treasury bills, all right? And I thought they are very different investment options and there are so many factors that come into play before you can make a decision. So today or this week, we're going to be talking about the factors that you should consider before you decide on which investment option you should invest in. And keep in mind, I'm talking about just two investment options, mutual funds or treasury bills, all right? So let's start, all right? I'm going to be comparing them based on six factors. So the very first factor is diversity, all right? So with mutual funds, you get the whole diverse everything, right? That's how it works because with mutual funds, you're investing, there are multiple kinds of mutual funds. There's the money market mutual fund, the equity mutual fund, ethical mutual funds, balanced mutual funds, fixed income mutual funds. There are so many types of mutual funds, right? So you get the diverse mix if you invest in mutual funds. With treasury bills, that's all you get, right? Treasury bills, treasury bills, treasury bills and more treasury bills so if you're investing in treasury bills that's the only thing you're doing you're investing in one security a government traded security and it is treasury bills so on that basis i will give this to mutual funds i think mutual funds wins on diversity all right so if you're looking at, if you're thinking about how you can have a diverse mix because you don't want to do it all by yourself then you should consider mutual funds the next point all right Mutual funds are professionally managed, all right? They're professionally managed by, you know, certified fund managers, portfolio managers, investment managers, call it what you like. But they are professionally managed by investment companies that are registered with the Security Exchange Commission, okay? So if you're investing in mutual funds, that's what you get. So if you're someone who probably doesn't have the time or, you know, resources to learn about how investing works, you know, all of those diverse, complex products, bonds, commercial papers, treasury bills, then maybe you should do mutual funds, all right? Because that's what comes with mutual funds. They are professionally managed. Treasury bills, not so much, okay? So if you're investing in treasury bills, you're doing that all by yourself. You have to go to an investment company or a bank or financial institution and say, I want to invest in treasury bills, and that's all you get, all right? So let's talk about the third point. Initial capital. How much is required to invest in, to invest in each of these options? With mutual funds, Today in Nigeria, you can start investing in mutual funds with as low as 2,000 naira. That's how much some people spend on lunch, right? As low as 2,000 naira. Now imagine if you're doing that weekly or monthly, you know, it builds up over time and you can take advantage of compound interest, okay? So the initial capital required for mutual funds is really low, 2,000 naira. With treasury bills, it gets tricky because if you watch my video on treasury bills, we have the primary market and the secondary market, okay? In the primary market, you need 50 million naira to invest in treasury bills. In the secondary market, or even, you know, you have some financial institutions that can pool the funds and invest on your behalf in the primary market. For some of them, they might say the minimum is 100,000 naira. For some banks, the minimum is 1 million naira, all right? So, you know, it's a lot more than investing in mutual funds. So that's the difference between what is required in terms of initial capital for mutual funds and treasury bills, all right? Now to the fourth point, ROI, return on investment, because that's really the sole purpose for investing, right? You're investing to earn returns in terms of interest payments. Now with mutual funds, remember we have a diverse mix, all right? Each mutual fund, um, depending on what exactly they invest in, will have a diverse mix of ROI as well, because if that mutual fund is investing in the equity market, it is based on what happens in the equity market, right? If the equity market rises, you earn more income. If the equity market drops, you earn less income. So it really depends on which mutual fund you're investing in. But if I wanted to compare like with like, I'll say, okay, what about, let's compare the money market mutual fund and the treasury bill, because a money market mutual fund invests in treasury bills, 
right? Because the treasury bill is a money market instrument. So if we say that, let's compare the return on investment for a money market mutual fund to if you directly invest in treasury bills, I would say that you would have to have need a lot of time to, because I mean, the treasury bills, if you do a 12 month treasury bill, right? You might get what, 13%? I think that's like a going rate on it now. And then you have to keep rolling it over every year. Or if you do a 91 day treasury bill, you have to roll it over every 91 days or 182 day treasury bill. Oh, sorry, there's no 12 months, a 364 day treasury bill. So, you know, you have to keep rolling it over yourself, ensuring that you're earning, you know, getting the best rates at the best time. But with a money market mutual fund, there's someone who is professionally managing that for you to ensure that you can get the best return on your investments. Now, here's the thing they will charge you for it, all right? So because they're gonna charge you for it, it's probably gonna cut down the, your return on investment compared to you doing it yourself. But remember, the initial capital required for mutual funds is a lot less than treasury bills. So if you have 2,000 naira, please stick with mutual funds. If you have a lot more money, maybe you can try and do the treasury bills yourself because then you're actually managing your IRA yourself. Remember, it all depends on you. I am just telling you the factors to consider before you make your decision, all right? So that was the fourth point. Now here's the fifth point tenor of investment so you know with treasure bills it's just short-term investment option right treasure bills are usually categorized as short-term investment options because you know the longest tenor is for 364 days which is an average like a year right a year 365 days so give or take one day so with treasure bills they're short-term securities right but with mutual funds, it's a bit different, right? Because if you're investing in mutual funds, they assume that you're thinking about a long-term or medium to long-term investment because that's how best, that's the best way rather you can take advantage of compound interest, okay? So if you invest in a mutual fund, it's better you just think about it in terms of medium to long-term, say two, three, four, or five years, okay? So you just keep putting in money, letting it earn you interest, compounded interest, and then eventually, if you have a plan for it, you can take some of it out and put it in something more lucrative, okay? So that's the difference in terms of tenor. With T-bills, you have the 91-day, 182-day, and 364 day tenor. So kind of fixed. With mutual funds, it all depends on you, but most likely, I mean, what ideally you should be thinking about in terms of a long-term perspective, okay? So that's how you should compare the mutual funds and the treasury bills. Now to the final point, liquidity final point right and that's always a, an important point for most people because they don't want their investment to be stuck where they, they don't get access to it if they need it immediately right so that's the good thing with treasury bills with treasury bills you can liquidate it you know quite easily depending on the institution that you bought your treasury bills with right with some of them they can liquidate it in 24 to 48 hours if you give them notice whereas with the mutual funds it's pretty much the same thing so i'll give them a level score and, you know for for both options with mutual funds depending on the institution you also keep your funds with you should be able to liquidate in that time period as well so for both of them liquidity is a good point they score well they score well <coughs> excuse me they score well on liquidity all right so for both options so that's how you should consider it right so it's not a one size fits all you know, you know, you can't just say put your money in mutual funds or put your money in treasury bills. It depends on so many factors which I've outlined today. What do you want? What's your goal? What are you thinking about in terms of liquidity? How much initial capital do you have? How much, how long can you keep the investment in for? Do you want something that is professionally managed or do you have time to look at it, you know, to manage it yourself and keep ruling over the investment yourself? All right, or do you want the diversity that comes with mutual funds? Because with treasury bills, all you're doing is investing in the money market, all right? So those are the factors to consider before you decide what options work for you. I hope that this has really helped to help you decide which option you should go for. On that note, I will see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe.